The Cabinet Secretary for Defence, Principal Secretary is present, our CDF senior military officials, distinguished graduates, guardians, parents, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am delighted to join the entire National Defence College family on this truly special day as you mark an important milestone in our collective journey as a nation together with our dear friends from various parts of Africa and the rest of the world. This is a goal towards enhancing our capacity to secure freedom, opportunity, and development in order to foster national socioeconomic transformation. I am glad, therefore, to have this opportunity to officiate this auspicious occasion of the graduation ceremony of a special cohort, the National Defense College Course 25 of the academic year 2023-2024. I take this early opportunity to congratulate you, the graduates of Course 25, year 2022-23, upon the successful completion of your studies. Let me commend the Commandant, Directing Staff, and entire college fraternity for having successfully steered the graduates during their course. Father, I extend my commendation to your families and friends who have supported you during your year-long period that you were here in this college. I also wish to express my appreciation on the role and achievement of the National Defense College, an institution that has consistently maintained an admirable record and continues to make significant contribution towards positively shaping Kenya's national security and overall development agenda. Since its inception in 1997, it has sustained a magnificent tradition of providing world-class training and research on national security policy, including strategy. It is a matter of great pride and satisfaction that this college has sustained, committed to develop, and promote professional leadership skills that has continuously enhanced quality and integrity in the management of national security policy and strategy and deepened our overall capacity to bring about desirable peace and security in our region and further afield. I commend in particular the fact that each year, for more than two decades now, the quality, rigor, and the impact of the college's programs have continued to attract participants from the Kenya Defense Forces and their counterparts from Africa and beyond. Additionally, an increasing number of government ministries, departments, and agencies are taking up the opportunity offered by this college to enhance the competencies of and strategic thought outside the mainstream national security services sector. The participation by officers drawn from diverse sectors enlarges our shared understanding, fosters collaboration, enhances synergy, and strengthens integration among government agencies in addressing the ever-evolving, increasingly complex national and regional security landscape. The National Defense College has grown steadily year after year and has attracted continuously increasing numbers of participants such that this graduating cohort with 70 participants is the largest course so far. This is highly encouraging and commendable. I am also pleased to note the widening international reach by the college, especially in Africa, which attests to the growing appetite throughout our continent for common approaches to regional and national policy and strategy. This is excellent news for the future of continental integration 
and the Africa we all want. I had a conversation with the graduates earlier, and I tried and endeavored to um, let them understand the importance of us working together in concert with Synergy to be able to eliminate the borders that separate us, turn them into bridges so that we can better harness the opportunities that exist in our continent for trade, for investment, for employment, and all attendant positive aspects of people working together in a continent-wide um, ecosystem that gives us, in all our countries, the best possible opportunity. I did also uh, inform them of our commitment as leaders in this continent to continuously work on building the necessary structures that will bring our countries in this continent into one trading block and building one big market that will work for the 1.2 billion people in our continent, build the 1.3 billion or trillion dollar economy that by 2050, that economy should be two and a half times what it is today. Among the participants there, there are 11 female officers from various agencies. Whilst this number may appear low by civilian standards, I am satisfied that such a number of senior officers, let alone senior military officers, represents tremendous and commendable progress and the promise of even better representation in the future. I therefore have no hesitation in commending the Ministry of Defense for their commitment to enhance gender inclusivity at all levels of recruitment and training. It is also worth noting that many alumni of this college have succeeded to demonstrate high levels of high resourcefulness, motivation. General Kianga, who I have seen here, General Karangi, General Muatete, General Kiboshi, just our immediate retired uh, CDF, and our current CDF, General Ogola, are alumni of this institution. Maybe it is the case that if you want to rise to the highest level in the military, you should find your way to this college. <laughs> <coughs> In the public service, numerous alumni have risen to become principal secretaries and heads of such disciplined services, such as the National Police Service, the Kenya Prison Service, Kenya Wildlife Service in Kenya, as well as other organizations in Eastern Africa and the broader region at large. These distinguished NDC alumni continue to influence and promote the development of organizations and policy necessary to enhance and harness available national capacity and to determine realistic and practical ways and means of achieving national objectives through synergies and collaborations across government and public sector in the wider context of national security and national interest. Listen, listening to Colonel Ayola, I think it was Ayola from, uh, from Nigeria. For a moment, I thought the next sentence was going to be Afro, Afro cinema continues. <laughs> <coughs> and he, in a very uh, um, graphic, we gave us a preview of what the course in this uh, college looked like. And I can confirm that it was interesting listening to Colonel. Uh, I therefore urge all other 
ministries, departments, and agencies to take up appropriate learning opportunities at NDC to enable us build a critical mass of like-minded senior officials who will contribute to national policy through homegrown solutions at the strategic level. I also wish to urge the Ministry of Defense to prioritize the expansion of the college's facilities to meet the growing demand. I will be expecting, for example, uh, to the commandant and to the uh, directing staff in this institution for a thesis to be written on some of our security challenges. Yeah. What's going on with banditry in the North Rift? I expect that this college will uh, work on a postgraduate thesis to give us insights on how we can deal with this challenge that has been with us for a while, including other, uh, other, other security challenges, because that is the essence of institutions like this and universities like this. As you may recall, the National Defense University Kenya was awarded its charter on the 27th May 2021 as a specialized degree awarding institution of national strategic importance. The National Defense University Kenya is a culmination of a long-held strategic ambition by successive generations of military commanders who conceptualized the promotion of scholarship in strategic thought in pursuit of Kenya's national interest within a broader, more dynamic, complex, and ever-mutating national, regional, global defense and security context. I am happy that today we can issue certificates, including other um, uh, degrees and, and diplomas from this institution that I believe is of strategic importance, not just to the country, but to the region as well. The university is expected to foster the professional development of strategic leaders and commanders who embrace a holistic approach to defense and security, and who are strongly focused on finding sustainable solutions to contemporary defense and security challenges through research, innovation, and academic discourse. As we celebrate the great achievement by this important institution, I wish to point out that such a powerful forward leap can only have been achieved thanks to dedicated leadership and a great deal of attitude, organizational management, and strong discipline. As such, I wish to thank and congratulate the entire KDF fraternity led by the Kenya, uh, led by the Cabinet Secretary of Defense, the CDF, and their officers for their diligence in rendering this commendable service to the nation, to the region, and to humanity. I also congratulate the College Advisory Board under the stewardship of Principal Secretary for Public Service, the Vice Chief of uh, Defense Forces, and the Commandant and his entire faculty and staff for the good work that they continue to do in advancing this institution to be a regional center of excellence. At this juncture, I congratulate all of you course number 25 participants and wish you all a happy graduation day. I encourage you to live up to the ideals and aspirations of the National Defense College and I have heard the commandant say you can now append after your name NDC Kenya. I hope it will have some meaning and it will show in the respective uh, institutions that you represent that indeed this course made a difference in your career. <clears throat> I wish you, all of you, a great moment as you enjoy our great country for those of us who are uh, guests from other countries. And as I told each and every one of you, please carry with you 
our best wishes to our brothers and sisters in your respective countries and let them know the best of Kenya. Um, I'm sure you have enjoyed not just learning in this college, I'm sure you found time to enjoy uh, the rest of Kenya, our beautiful scenery, the National Park, which is just uh, a few minutes from here, and of course the cuisine and the good people and hospitable people of Kenya. Um, as you go to your respective countries, we are sure that we have ambassadors from your countries uh, as you go to your families and to your respective uh, institutions that you represent. My very best wishes to all of you. I wish you safe travel back to your countries and homes and request you to take with you a message of hope, resilience to the people that you will serve. I thank you for listening to me and I wish you the very best as you exit this college today. God bless you and God bless all of us.